fellow students and staff of Mammoth Heights Elementary, my name is Mr. Hopefloor. You know me as Mr. H. Today is Monday, March 30th, 2020, and this is Good Morning Mammoth Heights. All right, let's begin our morning with the Pledge of Allegiance. Please rise and recite the pledge with me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Well, let's look at what we have on our lunch money for today. It's whatever is in your parents' cupboard and refrigerator, so make sure you put your request in now, because lunch is just in a few hours. As we move on to our tools for citizenship and life, today we're going to look at this word. It is the word perseverance. Perseverance. Now, I know you may be saying, Mr. H, we just talked about perseverance. Why are you bringing it up again? I do think it's an important one. And I do have to show you what my hair looks like. Because the last few times in the morning show, I haven't showed my hair. I didn't think there was going to be a lot to change. But a lot of the kids are asking, Mr. H, I haven't seen your hair. What's it look like? Well, here you go, boys and girls. All right? There's what we got going on. Doesn't look pretty. But I did make a promise that I would grow my hair until we returned back to school altogether. And uh, even though I'm hitting some, um, some rough patches, literally, um, I'm going to persevere. I'm going to use a lot of positive energy, and I'm going to persevere, and I'm going to go through to make sure that when we return to school, finally, I'll have hair. Whatever it may look like, I'm going to persevere. All right. Also, don't forget about uh, Energy Bus. I'm going to go right back to energy bus principle number one, and that is you're the driver. So why am I choosing you're the driver? Because you know why? I thought about it, and we just went through a whole week of remote learning, online learning, your online learning adventure, whatever you want to call it. You did a lot of work from home um, by getting those emails from your teachers every day to, co to continue working on those learning tasks that your teachers have assigned to you. And your parents have been doing a great job of helping you make it through all those assignments and staying on task. So when I think about you're the driver, now that you've done it for a week, I'm gonna ask that you guys start taking on this responsibility on your own. Of course your parents are gonna be there to help, but now that you're kinda of used to a new routine for school, I'm gonna challenge you to be the driver of your own bus and get that email, set a schedule for yourself, and stick to that schedule and get those learning tasks accomplished without too much help from mom and dad. They're super busy. Of course, they're always gonna be there for you, but I'm just challenging you guys to be the driver of your own bus. Now that you know what kind of this is looking like, now that we can't be to school together, you kind of see what school looks like at home. So help out your mom and dad be the driver of your own bus, and I challenge you to take on this learning opportunity uh, on your own and take some personal responsibility throughout this whole situation. All right, no birthdays today, no birthdays today, but believe it or not, kind of perfect opportunity, it's National Take a Walk in the Park Day. So if you can go out to a park, I would suggest you stay off the play equipment because the play equipment has not been sanitized, but maybe you go for a walk in the park. It's National Go for a walk in the park day. And remember, to keep our, our social distancing by staying away from people that may be doing the same thing. Taking advantage of this day. Stay at least six feet apart from people so we don't spread germs. Because the sooner that we beat this virus, the sooner we can all come to school and be a school community inside our building one more time. And you get to see what Mr. H's hair looks like, huh? Oh. Anyway. Um... I'm going to leave you boys and girls with a special video that is created by our very own first grade teacher, Mrs. Morton. She put together an amazing, amazing, terrific, fantastic video. Um, we couldn't do a teacher parade in our cars throughout the neighborhood of Stonegate and, and Challenger Estates and all the other neighborhoods around our school. We couldn't do that even though we wanted to because we have certain orders we have to follow from the governor of Colorado that says we need to stay at home as much as possible. So we wanted to do a parade, but Mrs. Morton said, let's bring the parade to them 
here's a cool video to go along with the positivity and the and the energetic nature of our school. So thank you, Mrs. Morton. And I'm going to leave you with this sh with the clip after I say that concludes our show for today. I hope you all continue to be a positive ambassador for Mammoth Heights Elementary, exhibit leadership through our Energy Buzz principles, and demonstrate a love of learning each and every day. And remember to dream, strive, become, because that's the Mammoth way. How you guys feeling on this Monday? Because I feel great. Yes. Let's roll the clip. Just fine.